Mama Goes Wild, Friday Night, Keeping Your Marriage Alive. Porch, a place to relax, a place to enjoy. Come visit Grandma's Porch. Grandma Goes Wild, keeping passion alive in your marriage. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. If you hear something dripping in the background, it's my coffee maker. I'm making a pot of coffee. I love coffee. Growing up, Grandma always had a pot of coffee on the stove, one of those old-fashioned percolators, and I just loved it. I just loved it, and so I grew up on coffee, and I don't drink a whole lot of it, but I do drink a little bit of it, and so today we are having this beautiful day, and I did my five-mile run, and it was just beautiful, and now I'm home I got some schoolwork to do and you know I go to college at age 63 and uh, so I have some college work gorgeous day out might work outside a little bit um, and my son is helping me around here today he's gonna go actually do my grocery shopping for me because I'm so busy with um, everything right now and so I want to talk to you about grandma goes wild you know I, I talked about a little bit in another video about um, grandma loves her wigs and so in this video I remember one time I was sitting on the porch swing with grandma and we were just talking and I said grandma you've been married almost 80 years how did you keep that passion alive she said well you know what I did she said every Friday night I would dress up um, I would send the children over to the neighbors for a few hours and when grandpa came home from his work I think he worked in a coal mine or in a factory at that time and this is probably in the 1940s maybe 19 late 1930s and she said I bought me myself a wig and I put this wig on and I put some stiletto high heels on and I put a short skirt on and when he came home Friday night for that weekend there grandma was and she, grandma had her music on and she just opened that door for grandpa and well I don't know she didn't talk much about it after that but she said it was a lot of fun <laughs> grandma goes wild and they were married about 80 years before they passed and um, and so you know um, I think you can keep your passion alive and every relationship is different we have to remember every relationship is different and is structured differently whether it's a marriage or a friendship or a family relationship every relationship is different and special and unique in itself and we have different ways of interacting and so in marriage a marriage is really um, uh, a fine-tuned marriage um, takes work it takes work and you know the first year of marriage I remember when I first married my husband we've been married about 30 years and I first married my husband and that first year oh my gosh I mean that was just awesome and fantastic but then every year was awesome and fantastic they were just all different and sometimes in some areas of your marriage you got to be a little more creative and so grandma was creative she put her stiletto high heels on she put her I think it was like a box wig one of those old-fashioned type wigs on she had a different wig for a different weekends she had like red wig and a brown wig and a blonde wig <laughs> 
and grandpa loved it grandpa loved it and so she'd meet him at the door and i think some one time she said she had like a she oh she always wore her nicest underwear on friday night i think she called them bloomers <laughs> <laughs> Grandma wore her bloomers, and um, she just she just had a good old time. Grandma was fun. She was funny. She was witty. She was smart, and she knew the secret about keeping marriages alive. And so on that Friday night, that was her wild Friday night. Friday night was a wild night for Grandma. You know, the kids were away at the neighbors, and it was just her and Grandpa, and he came home from a long week at work, and there he came in with his lunch bucket, set the lunch bucket down. The music was on. She was dancing for him in her fancy bloomers. <laughs> so Grandma goes wild. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story about Grandma. And um, so I am getting ready to do some of my college work. Y'all know I went back to college at age 62, and I'm 63, full-time college student, making straight A's, got a scholarship, the whole bit. Didn't get the scholarship before I started. I got it after I started because my grades were good and really good. And I work hard, though. I work really, really hard. So I went out and did my five-mile run today, and I'm doing my videos, and um, I'm just going to kind of hang out with my kids today. You know, I have three young adult kids, and they're great, and we have hang out. We do stuff. Sometimes we go antique shopping or whatever. My one son is going to do the grocery shopping for me today. And we do like virtual gro grocery shopping. He, um, uh, virtual messages me and I can watch him walk through each aisle and I'll say, okay, go pick that, go pick this. <laughs> <laughs> he does a great job. He does a great job. I love to go grocery shopping, but some days I'm just really, really busy. So I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful week. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let your friends know about my channel. Please, please, please. And I hope to talk to you all soon again. From my house to yours, may God bless you, and I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. to relax.